Humility. What exactly does it mean? Well, in this video, I want to talk exactly about why it's important to stay humble and why most people are so obsessed with themselves. I mean, imagine being like that. <laughs> Seriously. The reality is, self-obsession is a bigger issue than we realise, but most people aren't even aware what it is and that they even possess this attribute, if you could even call it that. So, basically, I, um, I love myself, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it is a good thing, but sometimes it hasn't always been, especially in situations where I've become really self-absorbed to the point where I've blinded myself with thinking, how do I deserve this and why has this happened to me? And instead of seeing the bigger picture, I've really just kind of victimized myself to, I guess, feed my ego and protect my feelings from getting hurt. And to be honest, this has happened on quite a few occasions, but there is one that stands out to me most in particular. And it was actually around about this time last year. And I think I might have actually started this channel the week after this happened. But basically, I had a part-time job where I was pretty much just creating photo and video content for a local company. And uh, long story short, they fucking fired me. <laughs> yeah, the bastards. Yeah, they actually fired me. <laughs> And uh, I'm laughing about it now, but at the time, I remember being absolutely furious because I thought I'd shown them a lot of promise, you know, and I thought I'd produced some really good work and that I was, you know, the exact kind of person that they were looking for. I mean, you know, after all, I'm bloody Myron Lee, you know, <laughs> the one and only fucking Myron Lee. <laughs> I ain't no fool, yeah? So, yeah, that was all going through my head at the time. And literally months before this happened, I'd graduated with a degree in media production. So, in my head I was thinking, surely I'm the perfect person for this job. How can they, how can they do this to me? Well, obviously, I wasn't the perfect person for the job. But I just kept thinking, how dare they do that to me? How dare they do that to me? They're not getting anyone half as good as me. And I just kept victimizing myself and constantly constantly thinking that it happened to me. But all in all, I learned a massive, massive lesson that day because I thought I was the dog's bollocks. I really did. I thought I was so good and I was so self-obsessed about that particular thing and I thought I was so important that it actually blinded me. Now let's talk about how that can be a bit of an issue. Basically, if you tend to not look at the bigger picture because of the fact that you feel personally attacked whenever somebody doesn't necessarily approve of you or something that you've done, that means that you are choosing not to move on with the situation and that you are choosing not to learn from it. And instead, you're just dwelling on it and this is making you feel useless and like you have no purpose. And by doing this constantly, you are never going to progress as a person and you will always get defensive instead of seeing the positives from the situation. So what exactly can you do to stop thinking that the whole world revolves around you and start to live more of a liberating life? Well, first of all, you need to realise that nobody cares about you, my brother. And I've said that multiple times on this channel, it is not a bad thing. It just means that you need to live your life without letting other people's actions and words affect you. Because for 99.9% .9 of the time, the way people act around you has absolutely nothing to do with you. And why? It's basically because they don't care about you. And instead, the way that they are acting is more just kind of a reflection of themselves. Just think, if someone close to you was to tell you they got a new job or something, you'd be happy for them, wouldn't you? But it, it's, it, it wouldn't completely get rid of all of your problems in your life, would it? So this analogy actually works the same both ways and if the roles were reversed. The second step is to stop taking yourself so seriously because, you know, like, a little bit of self-depreciating humour is good for the old Swede, you know? Take the piss out of yourself a little bit. If you've got a shit haircut, just say you've got a shit haircut. Obviously, my haircut is just quality, so <laughs> I don't have to take the piss out of my own haircut. 
Um, but basically, this is gonna change the way that you see yourself and realize that you're not perfect and that you are a work in progress. And it will help you drop the idea of focusing too much on your own experience of life. The third bit of advice that I want to give you is to practice having empathy, meaning that you basically understand and share people's feelings. This is likely going to help you feel more connected with your mates and develop more of a, I guess, real relationship with them. So next time that you're, you know, you're with your brothers, ask them some serious shit, you know, ask them about their mental health, ask them how they've been feeling lately, and then share your own feelings with them afterwards. Empathy is not only about understanding your pal's feelings, but also truly wanting to help them. Lastly, stop victimizing yourself and just remove that shitty victim mentality that you have. Constantly thinking that bad things are gonna happen and that there's just no point in even trying to improve isn't gonna help anyone. If something that you deem as negative has happened in your life, you should really just try and switch your mindset around. And I know this is difficult, but you really want to make as much of an intention to do this as possible. And instead of thinking that this whole situation has happened to you, start to think that maybe, just maybe it's happened for you and choose to learn from it. And I find for me personally, that is a fantastic way to feel a lot more positive about a lot more situations. To grow your mindset even more, click on this video here or click in the link in the description below. Believe you can and you are more than halfway there.